Hey guys, welcome back to RJ's Android Tutorials. This is part two of our series on how to build an app like Snapchat. So if you haven't seen the first video, I would encourage you to go back and watch it. Um, today we're going to get right into it, trying to improve our view pager and um, make things look a little bit more like the demo app here. Um, so if you remember where we left off, um, so far we've created a view pager which pages through um, three different pages um, and has uh, different backgrounds on each one but we're actually going to change that if we look at the, the sample app you can see that as we page through the backgrounds fade in and out and what's actually the content of these fragments is this sort of card like view with a list in it uh, we won't get to the list part today, but we'll at least draw this card outline so we can get started. So let's jump right into the code. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is make some alterations to our fragment chat layout. Um, as you can see here, we started out with a linear layout as the root view. We're going to give that a quick switch around. We're going to make it a frame layout instead. Uh, match parent is still good and we can delete this orientation and also this background color instead of Android here we're going to type tools and what tools will do is say in our preview of our layout show this background color you can still see it but in in the actual code this line will be omitted and so when we render it on the phone, it won't have a blue background. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a view here. And that view is going to have a height of match parent and a width of match parent. And then we're going to give this a layout margin top. And the layout margin top is going to be equal to um, about 80 dp. We make that do a little adjustment on that, but we're going to start out with 80. And also, we're going to add a background to this. Now, for the background to this view, we want to create sort of the card like view that looks a lot like. Um, sorry, I'll go back here. It looks a lot like this, so it has the rounded corners. So in order to do that, we're going to have to create a custom drawable. So if you go into your drawable folder and do new drawable resource, call it um, card background. And now you can see the first element of this is a selector. We're actually going to delete all of that. We're going to call it do Android shape. And then we're going to do scroll down to get shape. The base shape of this will be a rectangle. We're going to delete that closing tag so we can add our own tag. Um, so the for our background shape, what we want to create is a is a um, solid with rounded corners. So first we're going to do solid, Android color, color white. Now this says, if we look at our preview, just take a rectangle and make the whole thing white. So that's a good start, but what we need to do also is we're going to do corners, Android, and then in the top right radius, we're going to do 16 dp, and in our Android bottom left radius, we're going to do 0 dp, and Android top left radius, we're going to do 16 dp, and Android bottom right radius, we're going to do 0 dp. Now what this is going to allow us to do is you can see we have a rounded corner on the top and we don't have rounded corners on the bottom. Therefore, when we go here and we set the background to add drawable, add drawable card background, there we go. And we look at the design, you can see, perfect. We have a nice little um, buffer for the bottom top where our toolbar will go eventually once we create that. But just to start out with, we have this nice card view um, with these nice rounded corners. So if we actually copy this layout completely 
and go to the other fragment layout that we created. So if we go to fragment chat and then we go to our fragment stories, you can actually do the same thing here. The only difference will be that this will be purple. So as you can see, our other layout will be exactly the same, only with a different background color in the tools um, namespace. But as you, as I said, the tools namespace doesn't actually affect the live version of the layout. So if we render the version, if we render this, we you'll be able to see what happens. I'm just going to go right ahead and run it on the emulator. Um, so what this should give us is um, two fragments with rounded cards as the background. That way when we page through them, we can make adjustments to the view behind them, um, which will mimic what we're looking for. If we look at the, um, oops, I booted up the wrong one, but it's taking a minute to build, so that's okay. If we go back to the, um, this version, you can see that as we page through, the background fades in, and hopefully we'll be able to mimic that here in just a minute. It's installing the APK um, <coughs> and launching the activity. Okay, so, so the first page has this card and no card and card. So that's exactly what we were hoping for. Um, this is the very basics of the view that we are trying to build. Now we just need to figure out how to have that background fade in with the correct colors as we page through our view pager. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we already have this view pager. If we open up our main activity, you can see we have this view pager and we actually already referenced this background view. What we're going to do here is we are going to add an on-page change listener. So if we do view pager, um, add on-page change listener, new on-page change listener. What this will do is we'll get a callback every time we page through our view pager. And so the position will be whatever page we're on, the offset will be the amount that we've scrolled. So if we scroll a little bit, that will just give you a percentage. So it'll be a float between zero and one. If you ever want to know more about these methods, you can jump in to them. If we go to, um, now find usage just isn't going to do it. Uh, but if we click on the root, we can read more about the um, each of these methods. So the position and the index of the first page currently being displayed and then the offset, a value between zero and one, indicating the offset from the page at that position, and the value in pixels, indicating the offset. So this is the offset as a percentage, and this is the offset as actual pixels. We're just gonna use this one, the offset in pixels. So if we go into our on page on scroll, then we think about what we wanna do. We wanna change the background as we scroll through. Um, let's go ahead and look at our background view right now. So we have a root layout, which has a, a background of black, and then we have a layout above that, which also has a background of black. But if we said like blue in this layout, that would give us our blue. And if we said purple, we could do the same thing here. So basically what we're gonna do is dynamically, we're going to change the color of this background as well as the alpha of this background. So if we go to Android alpha, we do like 0.5. You'll see we have a transparent blue over the black background. And so as we swipe, We'll want that transparency to get less and less as it goes to the middle and have a greater alpha as it goes to the sides. Um, so the way we do that in code is we say on page scroll. So if position equals zero, this means we're on the first page and we're scrolling towards the middle we background set background color 
the background color will be light blue so if we do um, context compact get color um, get con uh, get base context and um, you know what we're gonna do actually is instead of this we're gonna do because we're going to do this every time the page is scrolled, we're actually going to take this out. We're going to do int color blue, that blue equals context compact, get color this, r dot color dot light blue. So now we have blue and int color purple equals context compact get color this r dot color dot purple light purple okay so those are the two colors that we're going to be changing through so if the position equals zero that means we're on this first page then we would want to set the color to blue so color blue and else if position equals one we want to set the background color to purple now this may seem a little counterintuitive because you're saying if the position equals zero and if the position equals one you may be thinking why not do this if position equals two and if the position is one that means it's on the center where we want it to be black but really what's going to happen is when we're on this first page the whole time we're on this first page position is going to be zero all the way up until right in here at this point it would still be zero and then right here it would be one and so the whole time we scroll all the way over here the position is still going to be zero because it's the first page that's visible the first index that's visible that gets that we get in that position spot. So the position won't equal two until right now. And so if we set it when the position equals one, it will still be the right color even when we get to two. So now if we want, we could just run this. It's gonna take a, a minute to build and you'll be able to see that as we change the pages, we can get the, um, the background colors that we want. The other thing that we want to do though is set the alpha as we page through and so in both of these we're going to set the alpha now on this page as do that so as we page through it's blue here it's purple here blue purple blue purple so blue purple still purple so that's almost how we want it to work sorry i'm having a hard time scrolling through but the other factor that's going to play into our um, view pager is this alpha method so the thing is like i said the offset is from the first visible position. So we need to say, as we get closer to the center, the alpha needs to go down. So the closer we get to the center, so that means as the position grows, the alpha, as the offset gets bigger, the alpha needs to get smaller. So what we do then is we do one minus position offset for the alpha when we're on page zero. For on page one, the opposite needs to happen, we're saying, as the position grows, the alpha also needs to grow because here it should be zero. And as we get closer to here, it should be closer to one. And so here we'll do the reverse. We'll just do position offset. So now if we build this, you guys should be able to see That it suddenly starts looking a lot more like the snapchat app that we know and love so we're on the zero page so as we page forward our alpha goes down and so on the middle it's zero 
then as we page forward it starts becoming purple and as we get to here and blue again so perfect that's exactly how we want our alpha to work okay guys so it's looking really good it looks a lot more like our snapchat demo um, in the next video we're going to go ahead and we're going to build some of these complex views that move with our view pager as well and go here on the bottom um, you can see them here we have the photo button as well as the chat button and the stories button and as we page through our view pager we also get this nice little indicator that slides um, across the screen so that's going to be uh, a good amount of work but based on what we've done so far it's not going to be too complicated fortunately so um, so this video doesn't get too long i'm just gonna break now and i'll see you guys in the next video so don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys have any ideas for things that you want to see videos about feel free to leave a comment and let me know Thanks so much.